Hey guys, what's going on? It's Raven, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Bulldog DNA Bomb. Now, this was actually a double DNA Bomb choke. In the first half, I was actually on a 25, and my score streaks on this map, they really did not do work. You'll see at the end, I go on a 33, and my 33, the 33rd kill that I got was actually the DNA Bomb one. So, as you can see, my Warbird did not go in too well for me, and... This was really just a super intense DNA bomb. I wanted to get at least a vicious metal, but my score streaks weren't going in. So I just hopped in their spawn, and I had to play a bit defensive to get this, not gonna lie. But this was really intense. Um, you'll see a couple of moments where, you know, people are about to panic knife me, and it's just, it was a really fun game. I was actually playing with a friend in this again, uh, my friend Chris again, and... As you can see, there's another guy with a shotgun here, and I just have to outplay him. And the bulldog, it's not too good of a weapon either. And you really need, ah, you really need extended mags for it. And you have to get 25 double kills to get it. And that is a pain in the butt because this only has six shots in the clip. And as you can see right there, it took me three just to get that guy. And shotguns in every Call of Duty, they're very unpredictable. Sometimes you could get one shot, sometimes it'll take you the whole clip and you still miss some. So it's hard to really predict if you're going to be able to even get a double kill. As you can see right here, this was really intense. That guy just ran right past me. And I just remember this game and like I can remember it like it's happening right now. How intense it was. I remember it was... Like, you just have sweaty palms. That's the best way that I could put it to you. Just sweaty palms. You're just frightened, and... Right there, that was uh, another intense moment. As you can see, right now, I'm on a 15. The first round, I was on a 25, and I died. And this area probably wasn't the smartest. I probably should have stayed in their spawn. And I probably could have gotten the DNA bomb a lot quicker. But... It's okay, we still end up getting the DNA bomb. That was another tough position right there. And then this guy spawned, and then there's another guy. Yeah, as you can see, pretty intense. We are on the Relentless right now, and I want to talk to you guys about something. What do you think about me joining a pup stomping clan? As you guys know, I'm in Volt Elite, which is kind of a clan, kind of. Like, you don't get your gameplays posted or anything like that, and I only have 34 subscribers, and, you know, all these clans, like, Volt, you know, 15k, they're up there, they're pretty high, you know, Carnage, they're like, I think 170, 180k, um, we DOP, 100,000 subscribers, it's insane, and, you know, I would love for all those people to see my gameplays and stuff like that, and the clan that... I was given an opportunity to my gameplays I could be a commentator and a pup stomper which would be awesome I would be like Phonix and you know he gets gameplays he could showcase them and he could commentate over them which is what I really want to do so pretty much I would be doing the same thing that I'm doing now as my hobby but I would be doing it to a bigger audience the clan's called fire and ice and I have a couple DNA bombs, I mean not DNA bombs, double DNA bombs, I'm sorry, uh, that could go up for just some smaller videos like talking about leaked information and all that stuff. And we actually just got the DNA bomb right there, so woohoo, we got it. As you can see, it was pretty intense there. So pretty much that's all I have for you guys today. I think we went 72 and 7, I think. I'm not 100% sure.